hey guys in this lecture we will understand what are asynchronous calls using delegates so why do we need asynchronous calls using delegates that that could be understood with a problem which we can simulate in our visual studio okay so let's uh, first understand the problem what we uh, we can face okay so i have a simple class uh, a program class uh, let's come to its implementation later but uh, first i have a custom class which is called as my class okay and in this class i have a method which takes uh, string input and it returns hello to the input what we have passed and then we have a delegate which we have created uh, on the namespace async delegates now if you want to understand what are delegates please watch my previous lectures on delegates okay so i'm not going to explain how do we call the uh, delegate or how do we invoke the delegate we will just directly jump on to the implementation so in order to call this method uh, from my class into program class i just need to create the object of my class okay and then i have created a reference of the delegate which is here and this delegate will point to my method okay because the input parameters are same the de this delegate and this method both have the same input parameters or matching input parameters so now what i am doing is i am creating this uh, reference and pointing it to the method after that i have uh, inserted a simple statement which is going to tell me that it's going to call this method as synchronous uh, in a synchronous manner and then i what i am going to do is i am going to invoke this delegate with the parameter called as dot net school so what it will do is it will return hello to dot net school after that i have inserted another statement which will say my control is back to main method that means my control has come back to this method okay now if you notice it carefully here i have simulated a long running task too that means my method after being called will wait for 6 seconds okay so after this statement it will wait for 6 seconds and then my control will come back to the main method okay then i will write the uh, result and then i will say Con uh, console dot read line so let's try to run this application first and it says uh, going to call the method synchronously and it will wait for 6 second and now my control is back to main method and it says hello to dot net school so have you understood the problem here now imagine this method is taking more than 6 seconds or it will take more than 1 uh, minute okay so my control won't come back to main method now if this is fine in this console application but in real time projects yes this could pose a potent problem so let's get back to our slides and understand what are asynchronous calls using delegates now delegates enable you to call a method in an asynchronous manner now invoke method cannot be used for calling method asynchronously so let's go back to visual studio and see i have used the invoke method and this is the method which is generally used with delegates okay so we can use begin invoke method to call delegates in async asynchronous way so let's try to use begin invoke method first and let's try to call this delegate okay so let me say begin invoke and you see this uh, this method will start failing because it does not accept a parameter right so uh, what i will say is basically i will say again dot net school and when i say a comma it says it accepts a asynchronous callback delegate right so what is this again i will just come back to it but let's first try to so you can see this if i go to definition of this delegate this is a predefined delegate which is present in the system name space okay and all it does is basically it represents as a method to be called when corresponding asynchronous operation so whenever we need to call these delegates as in a asynchronous way we need to use this predefined delegate which is called as async callback and it takes a parameter of async result so basically whatever the result what we were getting back that means hello to dot net school that will come in here so it might be confusing a bit but yes uh, let me uh, try to implement it and show you okay so i will say new new async callback and let me pass the object of this class obj dot and then i will create a callback method so i will say my callback obviously it won't find the callback method right now because it's not being created yet but yes uh, that will come into picture okay so i will just say i will pass this my delegate ref okay so why do why i have passed the three parameters is basically first parameters is the string what we need to pass second is a callback method 
and then third is the object so i have create i have passed the delegate reference or the object what we call we can call okay so let me create this my callback method and i will just use visual studio to create this okay i will say yeah and this is my callback function which which is being created okay now you notice this the parameter which is taking the callback which is taking the parameter is again is taking async async result ar so this is what being explained in here right so this asynchronous callback delegate whichever uh, method it's being pointed by this delegate it will also take a uh, parameter which is type of async uh, i async result okay because uh, whenever a delegate has to point a, to a method the parameters should be or the signatures of those two delegates and the method should be similar okay so this method will also take this async uh, uh, i async result okay now what i will do i will just say my delegate so this is the delegate which is the common delegate here okay and i will just create a reference of this delegate and i will say i a r sorry a r dot async state okay now what does this async state is uh, do first i need to cast this to the my delegate okay now what is uh, async status do it say gets a user defined object that qualifies or contain information about an asynchronous operation so basically uh, whenever i will be calling this my callback method it will uh, start a asynchronous operation that means the method won't be blocked it will be working asynchronously it won't affect to the control of uh, uh, control to be passed to the main method okay so there will be some state that will be defined inside uh, one, once that method starts processing okay so this async state is stored in this delegate object okay now let's say i will say var result equals del dot and invoke okay so these are two methods which helps us to uh, achieve asynchronous operations okay so and invoke and begin invoke so just try to understand uh, uh, why that definition what microsoft has provided so it it starts um, the the process okay begin work it starts the process of asynchronous operation and then it does not blocks this uh, control to uh, come to the main method it continues its operation onto the background so how do our control know that uh, okay this uh, task has been uh, finished and now our control can come back to our method okay with the help of end invoke so end invoke will uh, return a result that means hello to dot net school will be written with the help of end invoke okay and this is just the uh, while the task is ongoing uh, the status which is told there okay so begin invoke then the status which is ongoing and then the end invoke you can understand in this chronology right now once i get back uh, uh, after the end invoke i get back the result i will just display the result so i will say console dot write line i will say delegate has finished and result are or you can say result is i will just append it the result okay and then i will say console dot write line async call is finished so i have just uh, inserting this statement just to make you understand okay so i will just debug this program for, uh, later but let's first try to run this application and see if this is being hanged for 6 seconds or not okay so let's try to run this so let's try to run that and see it does not wait for six seconds it says going to call the method synchronously i have not changed the message and then it comes back immediately to the main method after six seconds the background thread has finished and the result is hello to dot net school and async call is finished now let's try to do the same thing with the help of invoke method again okay and let's try to see if this is making sense or not so i will say invoke again i don't need a callback because uh invoke does not take this callback right so i will just remove this i will comment out this and i guess we're good to go
so let's try to run this again and let me increase this simulation time right so i will just say it's 10 seconds and now let's try to run this okay so going to call method synchronously and it's waiting for 10 seconds to so control to come back to the main method okay okay now after 10 seconds has been passed now my control is back to main method and it says hello to dot net school so again uh, so it called it it called the function here it waited for 10 seconds after 10 seconds the control is back here and then it uh, gave me result as hello to dot net school right so I, it will give me hello to dot net school correct now let's uh, again change this scenario here because we have increased the simulation time so yes we need to see it now let's try to run this again okay going to call the method synchronously now my control is back to main method and the method is being processed in the background with the help of begin book end in book and async state okay after 10 seconds has been finished delegate has finished and result is hello to dot net school right so is it blocking the main method now suppose uh, say suppose instead of this statement there would be some other other method right here some other method which would update uh, a database right so our updation to the database would have been blocked because of this 10 seconds or a long running task so that is why we needed a asynchronous call right so let's get let's get back to our slides and see delegates enable you to call a method in an asynchronous manner invoke method cannot be used for calling method asynchronously that we have already seen we can use begin invoke method to call delegates in async way so what a begin invoke accepts is it accepts a callback function right and we have created the uh, callback function begin invoke method is called the common language runtime queues the request and returns immediately to the caller so i guess i have messed up the statement here i will just uh, paste the right statement uh, in the end of this product uh, presentation okay now this whole process is assisted with predefined delegate called as async callback delegate which accepts async result as a parameter so this we have already seen okay so i hope you understood the asynchronous calls using delegates if you have any doubt please leave me a comment and i am gonna solve your doubt very quickly thank you so much